All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna talk about growing fig trees in containers. And I think you guys are in real special hands today because I have dedicated a large portion of the last 10 years to learning as much as I can about this very special fruit tree, the fig. And I've also spent during this time, a lot of that time growing figs in containers, but also growing other species of fruiting plants in containers as well. I've grown a number of different varieties, hundreds of different trees in containers. And I have a lot of good advice I wanna share with you guys in today's video. We're gonna to try to make this as simple as possible in regards to these fig trees. So the first thing I think that's really important, can you actually grow fig trees in containers? I know that's pretty simple. Uh, the answer is yes. And I find that of most of the fruiting species that you can grow in containers, uh, they do fantastic. The problem with the fig tree in a container is that you, may, you gotta make sure that you put it in the right size. If it's too small of a pot, this is a two gallon size here. It's about eight inches by eight inches. You're not gonna see great production. You're not gonna see great fruit set. You're not gonna see good fruit quality. And it's just kind of going to be a waste of your time, I find. If you're going to grow fruit, uh, fig trees, guys, in containers, you got to grow them in at least a three gallon. I mean, look at the difference in the size and the productivity between the two trees I just showed you. They're actually similarly aged, believe it or not. And this tree here in front of me is probably going to produce close to 50 figs every year if you really know what you're doing versus the other size that may, if I'm lucky, produce 20 or 25. So that's a big jump from just a two gallon size pot actually to a, to a three gallon size pot. Um, and I would also recommend, by the way, going in a larger size as you can handle. So I have five gallons in here. I have 10 gallons in there. I also have 15 gallons back on the other side of the patio. And those I think are great because they obviously the trees produce more fruit in that size. But those are more of my permanent fruit trees, my permanent fig trees in containers. Because if I'm gonna be growing figs long term in a container, I wanna make sure I have the, a bigger pot size. First off, they're gonna produce more fruit, but also I'm not gonna have to typically root prune them as often. They're not gonna become as root bound as quickly. And in these smaller sizes here, like this three gallon, we'll probably have to root prune this maybe every other year, every three years, just to maintain the health and the productivity of this tree. Also, if I went from, let's say, a three gallon size or a five gallon size, which is gonna produce about 75 figs a year, and then I went up to a 10 gallon, I'm gonna probably double my production. So I would go from 75 figs to 150. And so the larger I can go, the larger I can carry, the better off I'm gonna be. The problem is with a lot of us in zone sevens, sixes, and fives, we have to move our fig trees in the winter time. And really some zone, zone eights, some of you guys in zone eights may have to move them as well. If our fig trees get below 15 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter time, we need to move them away from those cold temperatures. That 15 degree low, maybe even around 10 degrees Fahrenheit, is going to damage the roots of our fig tree and potentially kill it, especially on the, low, uh, the lower hardy varieties that you guys may have. Everybody has a different fig variety. And so giving you just that general recommendation of 15 degrees Fahrenheit would be the safe number for all fig varieties. You wanna make sure they are kept out of that cold. And so that's the beauty of growing them in containers. Why would you even grow them in a container Personally, you need to be in a, either a short season climate that you can benefit by getting your fig tree awake earlier, getting it a head start, and making use of having a warmer soil temperature. Or you need to be living in a very cold place where you just can't grow fig trees in the ground. And so that's the main concern I have with the pot size is that yes, I would like to go as large as possible to get as much fruit as possible to also have to root prune typically less, but I'm gonna to have to move it at some point. So a 55 gallon drum or a half whiskey barrel might be too big, might be too heavy, might be too much to deal with, especially if you have a lot of fig trees. So for me, the three gallon or the five gallon size actually is perfect. And if I have a more permanent tree, I like to go to the 10 
but a 15 is almost a little too heavy, even for me, to move. So that's a big uh, lesson there. Now, let's talk about caring for them because we can't just have a tree in a pot and expect it to do well. One of the most important things actually is fertilizer. This here is just a bag of slow release fertilizer. It's called Florican. And you can also get this by so many other names. There's Osmocote, they sell it at Home Depot. Um, there's Classicote. They're basically those little beads that are different colors. They're very small. And these little beads here, as an example, sit on top of the soil or mixed in the top of the soil. And they slowly provide fertilizer to our fig trees every time we water. And so this just makes it super easy. I mean, you can't get any easier. They've already designed, essentially on the bag, you'll read about the nutrients that are in here. Obviously, you want something close to a 10-10-10 or as close as you can get to a 10-10-10 or a 20-10-20 is also really good. But they also include in the bag all the different micronutrients that your trees might need. And so you essentially you can just apply this and be done with it. I mean, this is the really the simplified version of it. If you want to get really technical, I would recommend going to the blog that I mentioned before, figboss.com, guys. We have a whole different article written there that's so much information about fertilizing if you really wanted to get in the weeds of it. But this is a one-time application that I do every single spring to every container fig tree. You read the label on the bag, exactly how much you should apply, and that's it, I don't worry about it. Uh, every time I water for a certain number of months, depending on the fertilizer you buy, it provides fertilizer. And I do it day one of the growing season, as soon as they start waking up. The next thing uh, in terms of care that's really critical is water. And so I have all my fig trees, believe it or not, hooked up to a automatic irrigation timer. This is drip irrigation down there see the tubes and this timer just does it automatically for me it's rather simple even if i had a couple fig trees i would still probably hook them up to drip irrigation they go through this tube here it automatically turns on and then there every single tree has an emitter in the soil they're called spot spitters and you can get those products at uh, drip depot is probably a good company uh, Drip Works, I think, is another one that I recommend. And they all have roughly the same parts, same prices, and you can't go wrong. Uh, what you want to do is give your fig tree water, especially during the growing season, about a half gallon of water roughly every day. You can start off with a, a fourth of a gallon. Um, especially when the temperatures are warm, guys. They need more, more and more water. Earlier in the season when it's cooler, and there's not a ton of leaves on these trees just yet, you don't have to go crazy. But as the season goes on, as it's 90 degrees out here today, you gotta give these trees roughly a half gallon of water per five gallons of soil. Now, if you have a larger container with more leaves, bigger tree, you may have to expand that. But start off with roughly a fourth of a gallon, then go to a half gallon, then maybe go to a gallon, and just from there, uh, you'll have enough water to keep your tree happy and healthy, and that's roughly it. One of the most important things, though, I'll mention when it comes to growing fig trees in containers is the soil. Because you could water your tree actually too much, especially when they're young, and that will lead to root rot. Figs are very prone to root rot. And so what I like to do is actually get myself a nice compost mix. You can get Pro Mix, by the way. That's an easy one. Just go to the store and get Pro Mix. Already mixed for you. It's peat moss and perlite, a little bit of mycorrhizae in there. You're going to be set. Otherwise, get yourself some kind of compost blend that's organic, that's a potting soil or a soil conditioner. Typically, you can add things like bark, vermiculite, perlite, uh, rice holes different materials like that because we want to have somewhat of a well-draining mix in containers. We don't want to have something real heavy. We don't want to go to our yards and just dig up our native soil and put it in a container. Uh, that can sometimes be too heavy, especially if we're growing in a lot of clay. Uh, worm castings could be good. Compost that you make can be good. 
All these things really help uh, the drainage and the air in our soil. If we have good air, we have healthy soil and then healthy roots. So that's really the key. That's the main things. Other than that, just make sure they're getting as much sunlight as possible. The more the better. And I would also recommend, especially early in the season, give them more warmth. Put them somewhere like on your patio that has a lot of radiating heat. Maybe near your house, maybe near a structure, maybe just some way near big boulders or something. Just some way to warm up that soil and keep it warm for as long as possible. The last thing I'll mention, I, for, I almost forgot about this, is mulch. And so wood chips are a great idea to add to any tree on top of the soil. I have wood chips virtually on every tree and I do this uh, religiously in the ground, but also now in container fig trees as well. And this will just keep regulate the soil moisture and also regulate the soil temperature, especially in places like Arizona, uh, West Texas, um, Southern California, it can be very hot. Or in the South, like Florida, Georgia, it can be too warm, believe it or not, to grow fig trees in containers. So we want to put that mulch on top and that's going to help really regulate that soil and we're going to be off to the races. Your trees are going to do great. If you guys have any questions, contact me on the blog, figboss.com, or put a comment down below. Please check out the blog, hit that subscribe button for me, hit that like button. See you guys for the next one. Take care.